Well, here we are in the Crown Towers Hotel in the heart of Melbourne, which is by some measure the most glamorous and expensive hotel I've stayed in for a while. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a pretty nice place, but in true Junket Vlog style, we're going to focus on the things that, even at that price, they don't get quite right. And to be honest, some of it comes across as trying a bit too hard. They're wanting it so much to be glamorous, it's not necessarily very convenient. Let's start with something that looks okay, which is the door handle here. Now, this looks very much like a traditional door handle, but we have a standard electronic key, and it's actually quite tough to open. When you go to grab it, it needs a definite kind of force to move it. I do wonder how some people would cope with that. We have here some very fancy light switches. None of that annoying having to put your card in to get the power going, I'm pleased to say. But it can be a bit tricky getting the lights worked out. We've got one there for the bathroom, one for the lounge room, a range of things you can use. But when you first come into the room and it's dark, it's so dark in this corridor you can barely see them and you're frantically pressing switches wondering what on earth is going on. Then we step into the bathroom, which has these very glamorous glass doors. Again, they're really weighty. I suspect that... Now, if you were perhaps a senior citizen gambler, you might have trouble opening them. We come into the bathroom, which is very large, very glamorous. Here we have, ooh, shocking shot of me in the thing. We've got a nice large bathtub here, matching sinks, hideous chandelier. You know, uh, we've got a very nice shower, I have to say. I'm always a fan of the shower that comes down from the ceiling, and we've got that, plus the additional one you can use if you sort of want to wash various parts of yourself, you know, in a more thorough manner, I suppose. Some of the things they get wrong, though, we have the traditional annoying, doesn't work terribly well sink plug. We've also got this, this sink design itself, looks great, really not practical. Pain to wash your face, hard to get a decent depth of water, and the water pressure isn't actually spectacular. The other thing that I'd argue they get wrong is we have, you see here, the very fancy square um, bottles to put our soap and shampoo in. Now, yeah, they look good, but they're a bugger to get stuff out of. You've got to shake them really hard, and because they're made of solid plastic, you can't squeeze things out. Going cheaper in that respect would definitely work better. Stepping back out, you get more mirrors. Handy ledge here to rest stuff on, which is quite handy. Then we step up. The wardrobe is effectively a separate walk-in area. Full-length mirror to check that I'm looking good. Lots of clothes hanging space. No worries here about whether we're going to nick off with the coat hangers. They're all detachable if you want, so plenty of room in here to get things done, although it feels a bit odd walking into a separate area to do things. But our bar area here, the hideous chandeliers are an ongoing feature, I have to say. Um, nicely concealed fridge and so on hiding in here. One thing I will give them points for is that they do supply an international adapter. So if you come from elsewhere, you'll be able to plug things in without too much trouble. Nice, big, comfortable bed. When I came in yesterday, there were five zillion pillows on here and I chucked most of them on the floor. They clearly worked out which ones I'd used and they've just restored those and got rid of the bed rolls and other things I don't want to know about. We've got a very flash alarm clock here, which you can see in the dark. It's even got room to put an iPod on the top if I was so inclined. I haven't been quite that organised. Large flat screen television that I'm yet to switch on. But that's okay, it's definitely there if we want it. And a few free magazines, which you kind of expect, given the heritage of Crown and its one-time association with Consolidated Press. Um, got a nice, you know, large, solid desk area over here. Plenty of room, lots of power outlets. Although I will say, these metallic plates, it's a bit easy for your power outlet to pop out. I actually didn't realise my laptop was chuck, plug, not plugged in this morning and managed to run down the battery, which was annoying. Although, to be fair, kind of more my fault than theirs, I suppose, in the long run. Now, one thing we can say of this place is we've got a lovely view, Flinders Street down there, this entire window area I could actually sit in, so if I was the, the type who was able to relax, you know, I could sit here with a novel and enjoy the view over Melbourne. Sadly, I'm here to work, so the desk is really going to be my focus, and I'll crash out on the bed later. So, as I say, a few of those little details could get fixed, and this would be, you know, a really extraordinary place, but I'm certainly not complaining that I've been put up here.